This segment brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. Hi, this is Romulo Lolato, Extension Wheat Specialist with Kansas State University. And today we're here in uh, South Central Experiment Field near Hutchinson. And we're going to talk to you a little bit about how to choose a wheat variety and what tools do you have here in the state of Kansas that can help you choose the right variety for your operation. So a few things to keep in mind when you're choosing your variety is one, variety is one of your yield building factors, right? Different varieties have different yield potentials. So by choosing the right variety, you're straightforward increasing your potential yield that you can get out of your farm. Additionally, whenever you're choosing wheat varieties, it's important to spread your risk uh, working with variety maturity. So select varieties that are early maturing, medium maturing, and late maturing varieties as well. That way, if you have an early freeze that might get some of those early maturing varieties, you still have medium and late maturity varieties that are there, planted in your farm. On the other hand, if you have a very uh, hot and dry end of the growing season that may uh, ding the yield on those late maturing varieties, maybe still be on the safe side with your early maturing varieties. And another factor that you need to consider when you're choosing your wheat varieties is whether you're willing to spray a foliar fungicide. Uh, if you are, you can just focus on your yield potential and make sure that you come back with that foliar fungicide application. If you're not, uh, then you have the option to choose varieties that are uh, resistant to many of those foliar fungicide diseases or viral diseases as well that may uh, decrease your wheat yield. So that's another factor. If you're grazing your wheat, recovery from grazing is a very important uh, thing to be thinking of when you're choosing your uh, wheat variety. Maybe that good grain only variety is not going to have a great recovery from grazing, so you need to consider that when you're choosing your variety as well. As far as tools for you to uh, choose wheat varieties. Remember that here in the state of Kansas, we have over 70 wheat demonstration plots in the state and several, each one of these have at least one uh, plot tour in your county or in your district. So be aware of those dates, when those plot tours are going to happen. We're here and we're going to discuss each one of these varieties, what are their strengths, or what are their weaknesses, to which system they are more adapted. So make sure to attend these wheat plot tours that start here in May. Actually, this year it started in early May and are going to go all the way to mid-June. So make sure that you attend the one nearest to you. For you to have more information on when and where those plot tours are taking place, make sure that you follow me on Twitter. I'm always putting out that information. Uh, my handle is at KSU Wheat. Uh, I'm also putting that information on Facebook. So like my page, K-State Wheat. And also we send those weekly reports of which uh, plot tours are happening on that week uh, in our agronomy e-updates every Friday. So if you're not on that mail list, make sure that you put your email in our agronomy department mail list so you're going to know when and where those wheat plot tours are happening. <music> <music>